Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be starting off with our localizations and uh, basically internationalization. Those two terms are uh, are going to be used back and forth. I mean, uh, I think we should call this uh, localization. I mean, people call it internationalization, but really like, you know, we are actually working through those two things together. OK, so uh, first thing we're going to do is, um, uh, first of all, after setting our uh, schemes and everything we're gonna go to our project and uh, go to our uh, Project uh, not the target, but the project and uh, Basically uh, make sure that you have this use base internationalization checked and as you can see right now We only have English the development language uh, as a localization support Okay, so we want to change that we want to add a few more so let's add um, our Hindi one so right there and um, that we're gonna use another one so it's gonna ask you like you know what are the what all uh, language resources uh, that you're gonna create a localized localized version of and we can check off launch screen dot storyboard and leave the main storyboard uh, like that so uh, and Basically, uh, the reference language is like base. So it's talking about like, you know, what's the base? Um, uh, are you going to use the base as a reference? So all the keys that are going to be uh, uh, there for the base language, which is our English language, the development language uh, is going to be like, you know, same for all the others. Now, there are two types. So there is a localizable string, which only keeps track of the string values uh, for the localized uh, localized version. Or you can create another interface builder or another storyboard, a localized storyboard version. So I didn't really like localized storyboard. Like, you know, if you want to create entire new different UI for your users of like who are based like you know in a different region than where you are um, well in that case you can actually choose that but that's not a very scalable solution so most of the companies around the world like you know big companies big tech companies they always do their localization with localizable string unless they have a really really good reason to actually create a brand new storyboard okay so we're going to keep like in our focus on localizable string and uh, you're just going to finish it. OK, now we're going to add our other uh, French uh, language as well. So let's go ahead and add uh, French. Uh, OK, so as you can see, French is like, you know, two. So uh, so the place where the language is spoken, you're always going to find its abbreviation there, FR. And if it's like spoken in Canada, so French, Canada, Canadian French is a little bit different, um, slightly different uh, than French in France. So it's going to have like, you know, some colloquialism uh, and some uh, native effect, basically native changes. That's why like, you know, it's distinguished. And that's why you see this French Canada FR dash CA. Usually this is the uh, uh, this is the standard where uh, the main language, wherever the main language is spoken, uh, if the main language is both two places, like, you know, for example, Portuguese is both uh, Brazilian and Portugal, um, both of them speak that. So that's why, like, you know, you have this uh, country code, abbreviated country code uh, is like, you know, dashed uh, like next to it. OK, so you're going to see that that's pretty common. OK, so we're going to choose French and uh, we're going to do the same thing. Simply uncheck the launch screen dot storyboard and we're going to finish this. OK, so with that, uh, our um, our Xcode is actually or our app development environment is ready uh, to support different languages. Now, if you notice uh, your main dot storyboard now has this arrow marked and you have like main dot storyboard base. OK, so this is the base, the base storyboard and all the uh, all the strings that it might have basically are going to show up uh, in these two. Um, we are not going to use it uh, once again, like, you know, this is uh, not the preferred way and not many people actually do it. Uh, reason is uh, because it's when it comes to um, where like, you know, you want to centralize all the localized text and everything, uh, they tend to keep it at one localized place. So we can actually create that localized space now. So what you're going to do is you're going to simply um, create a new file 
and uh, you're gonna look for string here okay string so strings file is what we need click next and we're gonna name this something very very specific so uh, unless you name it specific like you know exactly like localizable uh, if you don't do that then you have to actually every single time you call this class um, uh, call something to set on this um, macro that you're gonna that you're gonna use uh, you have to provide the name of that file so uh, it's a, a little bit inconvenient uh, but sometimes like you know if you need it uh, you can actually change the name but we're gonna stick to the um, to the standard localizable so it's called localizable and as long as you keep this name you don't have to um, uh, specify the name whenever you're actually translating your text or when you're converting your text from one locale to the other okay so localizable is the name of the file and you see so if you notice uh, basically what we have is uh, this file created but it does not have that arrow uh, that we have next to main dot storyboard so uh, reason is this file is not uh, localized yet so uh, we're gonna actually select this and um, uh, see if we can actually localize it and we're gonna say yes we want to actually localize it and move it to L project so basically it's gonna create a copy of that so we can actually simply select all different versions uh, so English Indian language and, and French and uh, we should be good to go so it can create those three different variations for us now uh, English is going to be our base so uh, I'm trying to actually okay so I'm trying to uh, um, okay let's do this uh, let's select this file and remove English from the list remove it because English is our base so we don't really need uh, that one and uh, it's our development language so it's simply gonna keep that uh, same like you know display same but if you change the scheme to Hindi or French then it's gonna pick up from these two files all right uh, with that uh, another uh, set of setup is done um, let's uh, take a quick pause and uh, jump on the next video where we can actually start um, dropping some labels and start uh, changing their uh, changing uh, basically uh, changing uh, the text within those labels into a different language okay so let's go ahead and pick it up from the next video okay so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you